Brandy Pepper Cola. Then it had to be Pepper. Why is she flirting with that little boy? Why is she looking at him like that? Okay, now there he goes. <laughs> look at his eyebrow. He don't even know why he's looking at the yams. <laughs> he really doesn't. <laughs> This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by Big League Chew. It would have been the best bubble gum in the history of bubble gum, but the flavor only lasted 2.2 seconds. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Big League Chew lasts longer than all the others. Don't sleep on Big no, League Chew. No, it did not. It did not last longer than Bubble Litches. So the Dodgers trying to catch lightning right now. I used to be the little annoying sibling and I'd watch my brother play baseball. I always had some big league chew and an icy, a blue icy. This is the part when we ask JLo what her bodega order is. A ham and cheese on a roll with an orange drink, if you know, you know, and a small bag of chips. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl, Allie. I am Brooke. Thanks so much for tuning in to this latest episode of Two Freckled Friends. If you enjoyed Big League Chew during your childhood days, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week, you need to take me out to the ball game. I don't need no peanuts or Cracker Jacks. Just give me a hot dog and a seat in the shade in the back so I can woo woo woo. woo, woo. Brooke, why don't you tell the good folks out there what we're watching this week? Hi friends. Today, we are watching one of my childhood favorites, 1993, The Sandlot. I have I have no idea who made this shit. It had all them little kids. This is like them same kids that were recycled in all the little kid movies. With the little kid with the red curly hair who did them other movies. You know what I'm talking about. If you're brand new to our channel, what Brooke and I will do is we're going to watch The Sandlot. We will give our own thoughts. And from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. So without further ado, get your gloves and bats ready. The gang's back together again. It's the one, the only, The Sandlot. Let's roll it! Here we go. And three, two, one, play. There is one all-time greatest moment in sports, 1932 World Series. Babe Ruth raised his arm and pointed to the center field bleachers. The great Bambino hit a towering 400-foot home run. That's pretty much how he became a legend. 30 years later, Benjamin Franklin Rodriguez became a neighborhood legend. It was in the greatest summer of my life when he taught me how to play baseball, and he got me out of the biggest pickle. We all had a crush on him, didn't we? Yeah, I thought he was so cute. Look at all them freckles. <laughs> Got the converses on. I moved to the neighborhood about two weeks before school let out. Oh, it's a Chevy Impala. Looks like a 58. It should have started off with loads of great things happening for me. Look at that car. But it didn't. Didn't have a single friend in a thousand miles. Middle class America. Mm, I'm pissed. Nice cars. Two cars. Houses. Family. Front lawn. Flowers. They have time and money to plant flowers. <laughs> My real dad died when I was just a little kid. My mom had married Bill. Fuck it. One freckle. Dad, I, I mean Bill. Remember you, you promised you. I'm giving the environment one freckle. So bitter millennial, for good reason. We have taken it up the fucking ass our whole existence, okay? We were told we were lazy and that we could have everything and that we got out of school if we could afford it and there were no jobs and there were no houses and then they said we couldn't have avocados. Teach me to play catch. He has a southern cow flag up. Half a freckle. <laughs> Okay. Thanks. Look at the way he's organizing his office. You know he make money. There are of a mark. He sees writing on the baseballs like, mm. Look 
how green that grass is! You know how expensive flowers are in New York City? I'd followed them to the sandlot once after school. It was like their own little baseball kingdom or something. It was the greatest place I'd ever seen anyway. They were good, real good. And all I had was a plastic toy mitt. They never kept score. They never chose sides. It just went on forever. There was only eight of them, so they didn't have a whole team. I figured I could be the ninth man and stand in the outfield somewhere and take up space. It's like he planned the way he was going to introduce himself to make friends. Clever. Look at that. That's right. Look the part. Smacking my hand in my glove. Look <laughs> at that huge ass hat. What was the dog's name? Bear. Chuko Bear. God. Bear. Goddess. Bear Zeus. I'm feeling Zeus though. I think it was Zeus. Hey, what an answer. Watch out! Catch, 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 catch! <laughs> That's alright. Let's get the ball. Let's throw it back. Poor Ting Ting. Okay, I'll get it! Don't be a goofus. Don't be a goofus. Be a gallant. Even watching this as a kid, did you think the dog was like some huge monster? They given the dog starting out with a six on the Richter scale. You can do it. Put your back into it. <laughs> He's already crying. My lace is over. It's the hat brim. If it wasn't for Benny, I never would have made a single friend that summer. Benny and me were connected for the one moment later that summer when I'd get us all into the biggest pickle. Hi, honey. Oh! Look, I got his own room, his own bed. Scotty, have you made any friends yet? Uh, Allie, what else is he supposed to do? He's an old kid. No. Why not, honey? That's what kids are supposed to do! Of course, I'm still new. Don't want you sitting around in here all summer. Did she go buy another pack yet? She looked like a Virginia Slim kind of gal. I want you to get out into the fresh air. He's outside! Scrape your knees, get dirty, get into trouble for crying out loud. Half a freckle, I'm telling you right now. White parents are giving their white children permission to get in trouble. Make some friends this summer, lots of them. Yeah, and I want you to buy Nicorette. I'm just an egghead. You'll always be just an egghead with an attitude like that. Did they have Nicorette back then? I bet you Joe Camel was still cool back then. According to this repeated nationwide survey, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Look at that double oven built into the cabinetry. She sees in her food. Well, I saw Quaker Oats. Holly, you know they do jello molds with the fruit in that shit. Wait till you taste my Margie's dessert. I didn't make dessert. Oh, instead, I made some fun. Took this thing off. Yes, sometimes. You going back out there and ask it. Uh, Bill? Uh, yeah. I mean, dead. <laughs> no, let's stick with Bill. I'm just a Bill. Yes, I'm only a Bill. Could you, like you said, teach me to play catch? Sure, but I gotta get this done, okay? Okay, thanks. Couldn't you take a break? She's cute right here. I think the red helps to diminish the smoker's glow. I'm under the gun here. Can't you spare half an hour? Show him now. She giving you that, spare him the half hour, and I'm gonna fuck you good later. I'll get my glove. <laughs> Look at her face, she's all lit up now. The child did not get him to do it. The mother finagled her man. The Panani did it. One thing that you need to understand with every fiber of your being, the power of the pussy. Eye on the ball, okay? Where the ball goes, that's where your glove should go. Okay. <sighs> Darn, sorry. Uh, here. Okay, I'm ready. Eye on the ball, okay? If the ball moves, move your glove. Now you know you throw throwing too hard. You need to start with the softball pitch. Float it. Float it. Just need a bigger glove. Throw it back to me this time. Throw it back. There we go, there we go. Okay, it got further to him. What do we call that? You know what that is? I don't know what that is. It's growth. You know what that is? It's growth. Keep your eye on the ball. Okay. He Hold went from baseball, handing it like it was to a rolling ball. it. To, oh shit! Ow. Oh, the red meat. Yep, yep. Right, just hold it up there, uh, nice just, and hard. Press it against. I just took my eye off the ball, Mom. Still be black, but it won't swell. Gotta watch out for that curve. That's known as trouble with the curve. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go play some ball, and we need an extra guy. You wanna go? No. Nah. Thanks. Don't you like baseball? But my glove, it's busted. It's okay. I got a spare. I got an extra one. Bring that ass. Come on, let's go. Mom, let me go play some ball. Back in a little while. See, when the kids were out, they came in. By the time the street lights were on, the community looked out for one another. Like Carrie's days. Half a freckle, I'm upset. I'm the real, real, real. Are those the bubblegum cigars? You remember those? 
I used I'm to have the fake Bambino. cigarettes. I'm the great Bambino. Who's that? Oh, Lord, he don't know. I had no idea who they were talking about. What did you say? Yeah, yeah, what planet are you from? You never heard of the Sultan of Swat? Titan of Terror. Colossus of Clout? The Colossus of Clout. You can't crash, man. I lied. Yeah, the great Bambino. I thought you said the great Bambi. That wimpy deer? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Did Bambi come out before 1950? I think in the 40s. Right? It's Hello, Bambi. That's Timmy and Tommy Timmons. Mike Squints Pelladors. Alan McLennan, we call him Yeah Yeah. Oh. Bertram Grover Weeks. Oh. Ew. It is riddled. Kenny DeNunez. Hamilton Porter. Guys, this is Scott Smalls. Hi. Oh. He's gonna play with us because he makes nine, so now we got a whole team. Let's go to the sound lot. With nine guys, we got a whole team, yeah, yeah. Come on, Benny Man. You saw the way through? You already fill up all the empty positions since Ellswinder we'll moved to Arizona. Hey, hey! I need to practice, guys. You're the best on the team. You no. don't need any practice. The kid is a L7 Weenie. Dodger dog! A Weenie! <laughs> Hot dogs. <laughs> Laughing at yeah, yeah? You were like a duck. I'm part of the game, right? Now, how come he don't get to be? Face up, you blockheads. That's right. I'm going pro. I need y'all to get with the program. Smalls, you take left center, okay? Where exactly is that? It's over there, man. Oh, he's like rethinking his investment. Here? That's left. I said left center. Here? Yeah, yeah, get two. Nice. Wow. Hey, Smalls, throw it second. Let them hoes know. <laughs> Told you, Benny. We told you. Kids a square. Why is the shortest one with glasses talking the most shit? We're the monsters. M O N O N. You got it. You got it. You got it. The hell's he doing? He's got good stamina. Here. Sorry. That's right. Get back in position. He can run though. Oh, you know. I don't know how. That eye is fucked up. You think too much. I should get straight A's and shit, huh? No, I got a B once. This is baseball. You gotta stop thinking. Have fun. You ever have a paper out? Chuck it like you would throw a paper. When your arm gets here, just let go. How do I catch it? Just stand there and stick your glove out in the air. I'll take care of it. About time, Benny. My claws are going out of style. Please, kids. Like, what? <laughs> Y'all talking a lot of shit. All I need in my life is him. Benny is my boyfriend. Oh. He is my boyfriend. <laughs> He's just that good. <laughs> He's alright. Told you so, man. Okay, play some ball. I knew it. How's it done? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. Yeah! Zeus, Hercules, whatever your name is. Pucho, are we supposed to have Pucho? Oh, that's the other dog. Pucho, what are you growling at? I'll show you some more tomorrow, okay? Aww. Hey, fuck Bye. See you tomorrow. Oh, he made some friends. Your glove. Keep it, man. Thanks. Dang, when you could just afford to give your neighbor stuff. Smalls, bring a t-shirt and jeans tomorrow, okay? You got a fireplace? Throw that hat in there, man. Wear my old hat. Benny, you want to be my boyfriend? <laughs> He's just got a little pep in his step. Starting to make friends. Got a black eye. Taking notes. He has friends. Yep, that's what your ass gets. You know that pitching? Baseball! Not tennis? This is my heater! I dare you to hit it! Oop! <laughs> and where's the ball, numb nuts? Him, idiot! Now we can't play no more! <laughs> They're so mad! I'll get it! Have you not noticed the damn dog every time? Can't go back there, Smalls. Then how do we get the ball back? We don't. It's history. It's history. Just get another ball tomorrow. I'll never see it again. Well, y'all can wait until tomorrow. Why not? Y'all gonna teach him how to throw and catch, but y'all ain't gonna tell him the deal? The beast. Go to that fence real slow and be quiet and peek through that hole. But, but I... Why are you afraid now? You were about to jump the damn fence.
What? Something got the ball. What was that thing? Camp out. Oh, uh, it's a sleepover. It's like little rascals. You want a s'more? I haven't had anything yet. How can I have some more of nothing? You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> These are s'more stuff. Okay, pay attention. First, you take the gram. You stick the chocolate on the gram. You roast the mallow. You stick it on the chocolate. You cover it with the other end. You scuff. I don't like that. Shh. Legend of the Beast goes back a long time. Kids don't use their imaginations anymore, do they? They sure don't. They don't no. know how. Thieves kept stealing junk from Myrtle's Acres junkyard. So Mr. Myrtle, the guy that used to own the place, got him a new pup from the dog pound. Is that a rack of ribs? <laughs> Fed him whole size of beef, and he grew big, and he grew mean. Kill everyone that broke it, and he did. <laughs> Cops started getting phone calls reporting all the missing thieves. It added up to about 120, 173 guys. <laughs> Why did you just add 53? <laughs> what is this Martin dog? Don't you all speak at once. <laughs> My grandpa Squigman Paladoris was police chief back to Squigman Paladoris. And that's where he's been for 20 years. 20 years that dog is still alive. Mr. Myrtle asked the cops how long he had to keep the beast chained up forever. Forever. The beast sits there under that lean too. You mean the time we can chase and kill again. That's why you can't go over there. Nobody ever will. One kid did, but nobody ever seen him again. Where's Benny? None of that's true. Stick your head out that window and like down. Where is Oh, there He's he right is. there. More than 150 baseballs had gone over that fence. I knew it was true. When I looked down in there, I didn't see a single solitary one. He's down there. Man, that looks like Arizona, but I know it's not. Whoa, jeez Louise. Wendy Pepper. Then it had to be Pepper. Why'd she flirt with that little boy? Why'd she looking at him like that? Okay, now there he goes. <laughs> look at his eyebrow. He don't even know why he looking at the yams. <laughs> he really doesn't. <laughs> Where you guys been? We've been waiting here forever already. Squints was perving a dish. See? <laughs> Wendy Preppercorn, darling, lover girl, huh? Oh, it's 150 degrees outside. I can't play baseball. Anybody who wants to be a can't hack it panty waist who wears their mama's bra. What? Raise your hand. I can't I can't that. That. Fine. So what are we gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. Of all the things we ever did besides May I ask a question? How many other children of color are in the pool? Yeah, I knew it. I'm surprised he was actually allowed. Lied about. Ah, oh, sexy. You got your sunscreen on, sweetie? You about to burn up. Yeah, I don't see a black kid in the pool. We all went because Wendy Peppercorn was the lifeguard. She knows exactly what she's doing. He like alfalfa around Darla. <laughs> and one day it became too much. I can't take this no more. Move! <laughs> he like a cat in heat. His hormones are just raging that bad. Okay, there's one. Oh, there's, there's a person of extra. color. <laughs> Summers of this, I think he finally snapped. That's the deep end, and squids can't swim. Only oh, he's shivering. <laughs> with her perfectly curled ponytail. Okay, I got it. I got it. Come on up, Wendy. <laughs> He's too much control. Look at that, Look at that shit eating grit. It's obviously breathing right now. He got like 10 kisses. <laughs> what? what? This magic moment. <laughs> Man, he's a deep shit. Get your ass. Get the hell out. Sweeter than wine. Where they close at? They threw him out. They threw the clothes out. Did you plan that? Of course I did. Michael Squints Polidorus walked a little taller that day. He was lucky she hadn't beat the crap out of him. And then this bitch smiled. He had kissed a woman, and he had kissed her long and good. But every time we walked by after that, right over at Squints. So how do you feel? about this scene in comparison to the kiss from blank check she was 
probably a teenager. Come on, come on. What's the big deal? Night game, come on. That's how I took it. There was only one night game a year. Oh Fourth of July. Oh, look at the sprinklers. How cool is that? For us, baseball was a game. For Benjamin Franklin Rodriguez, baseball was life. Uh-oh. I'm about to, you got served, but in baseball. Except for Rodriguez, you're all an insult to the game. We'll take you on right here, right now! Good plan, a real diamond porter. Watch it, jerk. Shut up, idiot. Butt sniffer. <laughs> Puss liquor. You mixed your weeds with your mama's toe jam. <laughs> You play ball like a girl! Tomorrow, noon, at our field. These are pretty good insults. I love how he's the team's arm. Jerks. You gotta get home for lunch. That's one. Strike three, you're up. <laughs> Your sister out there in left field? She's naked. Shut up, Porter! <laughs> Oh, he's swinging! Get out of here! Is that the coach? Is that the coach in the dugout? Your team's trash! We were all walking on air that night. We'd beat the crap out of those guys. So we all went to celebrate. And we did the stupidest thing. The stupidest thing y'all still do. I don't know why y'all do that. Hey, guys, 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 it's all on me tonight. Ciao! Saving it for a good time. What is it? Big Chief. The best. Chewing tobacco? Backy, man. Come on, I want some. And then y'all get on a ride. I feel bad for everybody else on that ride. I feel like they may have stolen this from Problem Child. <laughs> the face when it's getting ready to come up the North Pole. Go that way. That feels better. I'm gonna take your dad to the airport. You look kind of pale. I'm fine. Well. While I'm gone, you're the man of the house. Understand? Take another stabby catch when I get back, all right? Would you leave a child his age by himself at the house? That is insane. We swore off the hard stuff forever and just stuck to bazooka. That ball blew up? Damn. Bitch. Nah, it ain't. Must be an omen. We can't play no more. That just ruined the whole day for us. That's the most amazing thing I ever saw. Anybody got any money? I got a ball. Go get it! Go to the piggy bank and get a buck. I got it, guys! You should know better, though. It's sitting on, like, a mantle. They don't see that there's writing on there either. <laughs> there's one. He's swinging like he swung in Greece when he, Josh Walter was trying to find a sport. Strike! Oh no! Ready to go to school, mate! Time everything that way! Girl! Oh, messed up. Yeah! Nice hit, Smalls! Nice hit! You go to third base! Maybe the shock of his first homer was just too much for him. You gotta get that ball back. No, you don't understand! That wasn't my ball! It was my stepdad's. I stole it from his trophy room. It's gonna kill me! You knew the magnitude of the ball. It was in the Listen trophy to room. Me. It's the matter of life and death. Where did your old man get that ball? Some lady gave it to him. Some lady named Ruth. Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth! Ah! Now everybody's hopping! <laughs> oh, that paw. The bee's got it. You're dead as a door now, Smalls. You went home and swiped the ball, signed by Babe Ruth, and actually played with it, and actually played with it? Yeah, but I was gonna bring it back. Who is she? Babe, Babe Ruth! Ruth! The Great Bambino! You mean that's the same guy? Babe Ruth is the greatest baseball player that ever lived. That ball you just aced to the beast is worth. It's priceless. Well, more than your whole life, man. I don't feel so good. My appendix just exploded. Get the mayor, get the mayor. We have to get that ball back. When does your old man get home from work? He's gone on business, out of town. Spread out and look for bottles and cash them in. We gotta buy us a ball. Go, 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 go. That ball is too new, too clean. His mom's never gonna know the difference. This is just buy us some time, you dork. Okay. <laughs> 
honey. What are you doing in here? Dad's baseball. You know he doesn't like you to touch his things. Has he ever told you about that ball? No, we don't know. We don't need to hear about it. I don't anything about it. We don't really have a relationship. Did you notice that? Babe Ruth signed that ball. Greatest baseball player who ever lived. Dad's father gave it to him. Maybe someday he'll give it to you. Neat. <laughs> Even my own mom knew who Babe Ruth was. I was dead meat. Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make two freckle friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. Again, ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. Why don't we just go over and ask Mr. Myrtle if you can go Are get you out of your us. mind? The meanest old man that ever lived. Isn't there another way to access the house from the other side of the fence? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Anybody got any bright ideas? <laughs> that's a good idea. He's thinking of the baseball as one of his marbles. <laughs> We've seriously underestimated the beast. I remember those vacuum cleaners. The ingenuity to come up with this though. Unshaped retrieval suction. That's pretty wow. smart. Very smart. You got it. Hold it up. <laughs> Backs are clogged. I don't know about you, but I'm getting the heck out of here. Destroy the clubhouse. I don't even want to know what he's covered in. That's worse than Agent Orange right there. What do you get when you mix 245T acid and 24D acid? You get a powerful herbicide that the United States military used during the Vietnam War, tied to serious health problems for the people exposed to it. Agent Orange. We've been going about this all wrong. I blame myself. You should. We need total surprise. Airborne attack. Look at this Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> A little slower. A little slow. Don't lollygag. Do your job and get out. Yeah. Throw the ball over. Get me out of here. Going at the mouth. <laughs> ah, ah. Y'all trash. Why you drop the ball? the ball? I would be so pissed. Science against nature. The catapult is dropped. Your machine. <laughs> Let's just get a quote from the corner. Call the corner. My life was over. Benny had a dream that night. I'm here because you're in some kind of a pickle, right? A baseball with my John Hancock on it. Went over a fence and you can't get it back. Yeah, right. Then just hop over there and get it. There's a beast back there. Everybody gets one chance to do something great. This is your big chance. You're saying I should hop over that fence and pickle the beast? Remember, kid, heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Follow your heart. You never go wrong. Only one kid in history attempted what Benny was about to, and he got eaten. P.F. Flyers. Knock off Chucks. Okay. It was my fault. You don't have to do this. Yeah, I do, Smalls. I have to do this. Legends never die. That's a junky ass back here. Oh, well, he did have a junkyard. I'm Professor Leonard Miller, Caltech Poly Phi Beta Kappa. Well, I'm Fred Sanford. Poly want a cracker, I'll sell a junker. <laughs> That's a trolling ass dog. That's an old ass dog, too. Ooh, has his balls hanging. Yeah, come get your ball. What you trying to do? Oh, chain bump! Oh, shit! Balls and all. Ah! 
Sixty-two. Good job. Mommy, mommy, look at doggy. This old ass dog ain't no way. Sandlot, 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 let's go. Does that one feel? Now we feel bad for the damn dog. Come on, guys, help me! He's done yeah, more work me, now with the dog being down than he ever did when he stole that damn ball. Yo ass. Now you all happy and up and jumping. Now who gonna fix his fence? Yeah, go sit down. Let's go. Wow. Now we can play forever. Hello? This is bad. We, we brought your dog home. Hercules? Get out. That's one of the names I mentioned. We hit a baseball into your yard. So you're the ones been making all that racket. Oh. No, ma'am. Why don't you just knock on the door? I got it for you. Oh, my God! <laughs> got the ball back. <laughs> Come on in. We'll talk about this baseball. You in trouble, aren't you, son? That was my stepdad's ball. It was signed by Babe Ruth. George signed this? You're not in trouble. You're dead where you stand. Hold on. Here, I'll trade you. That ball really is signed by Babe Ruth. So is this one. The rest of the 1927 Yankees. I got a lot of good stuff. Look at that stuff. Besides, you needed more than I do. You knew Babe Ruth? He was almost as great a hitter as I was. I would have broken his record too, but... He was blind. Baseball was life. And I was good at it. Real good. You guys come by here once a week and talk baseball with me. Call it an even trade. Deal! Even though Bill loved the murderer's row ball, mad about me having swiped his Babe Ruth autograph ball when he grounded me for a week instead of the rest of my life. His dad gave him that ball. He's still gonna be pissed. Wow. Things worked out between me and him, dad, all the time. We all lived together in the neighborhood for a couple of more years. When one guy would move away, I never replaced him on the team with anyone else. Yeah, yeah's parents shipped him off to military school. Bertram got really into the 60s. Timmy and Tommy became an architect and a contractor. Squints grew up and married Wendy Peppercorn. They have nine kids. Hamilton Porter became a professional wrestler. Danunez played AAA ball. Hercules lived to be 199 years old. I was the last one to move away. But when I did, the Sandlot was still there. His reputation spread all over town. From then on, he was known as Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Say the Jets lost a step or two. See some fireworks here. And there he goes! He's stealing home! Safe! Safe! The Jets stole home! Let's give it a freckle score! Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give the Sandlot its official freckle score. It's one of my childhood favorites. I came from a baseball family. I spent every summer at the ballpark. It's very nostalgic for me. It reminds me of happier times. I love the placement in the early 60s, the music, the, the culture. It's one of those movies where I sit and watch it and I get sad when it's coming to an end because like I still want to keep watching their adventures. Five freckles, man. They don't make them like this no more. The Sandlot was a great time. I hadn't seen it in quite a bit. A lot of bits and pieces I started remembering as the movie progressed. A time where a black child could swim in a swimming pool and not feel like they were going to die. It's great stuff. Love Americana. Even as a woman of color, you always find something that you can relate to or identify with. The soundtrack was bomb. At the end of the day, it's about having a group of friends, enjoying baseball because it's fun. In America, unfortunately, there are a lot of sports where you have to pay to play and it's not solely based on talent. And those kids played on a worse field, didn't have real equipment, and that other crew team, they went to their field, all nice and shiny, grass cut, bases perfectly placed, and they kicked the living shite out of them. And I loved every second of it. Great humor, good cast, makes me want a hot dog real bad. My freckle score is five out of five freckles. I got five. 
Drop your thoughts in the comments below if you agree or disagree with our scores of the Sandlot. While you're down there, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. I'm not watching Sandlot 2. I'm not doing that. Don't ask. What was the plot of it? There are certain movies where you shouldn't have sequels. This is a prime example. Just leave good alone. This spring, welcome back to The Sandlot. That's something. The Sandlot 2. You're bald-headed grand. Your mama wears combat boots. Your mama dresses you funny. Yeah, but you play ball like a girl. Excuse me? Coming to DVD Spring 2005.